Look at this house now. It's really looking like a house. Woohoo! What is going on, bros? Welcome back to another video. We are here at the second house where all the fish are. And let me tell you, today's video is a wild one. We do so much, like so much in today's video. Fish transferring video, beta fish aquarium, rescaping this cichlid tank, you name it, it happens in this video. So stay tuned, stick along. I cannot wait to get into it. I just got a motion detect on the cameras over at the farm and a bird is stuck in the front patio. I don't know how that happened, but anyway. First things first though, we need to set up all the aquarium racks. It is currently like 12 o'clock in the morning right now and we are working on getting one of our biggest fish racks back to literally getting it from a buddy of mine. We got the U-Haul here with some tanks to start it off. As you can see, look at little beta tanks. We're just starting small, starting small, but yeah. So much junk. Together, guys, coming together. Now that the aquarium rack is all set up and ready for the beta fish tank to show up, we need to go to the farm, get all the aquariums that are in that aquarium room, and move them all to the new fish room here. So, uh, yeah, let the work begin. Sheesh! Don't swim that way, fishy. Water is empty now, and it empties out really quick out of this tank. We're gonna leave about at least as much as we could to where it's almost like a 75% water change. That way the fish still stay in the tank. We still have all the bacteria we need inside the tank, and then we do that transfer all the way over to the next house. It's gonna be really heavy for us to pick this thing up. It's got a lot of sand. We might have to take some sand out. What do you think we can lift? We could probably lift that? I think we can lift that. Yeah. All right. This pump is the best thing I've ever bought. Literally the best thing I've ever bought. Look at how clear the flower horn tank is. Um, but let's get this plugged in. Uh, empty it out. This is the worst part. Ah, leave. Pour it out. Empty out, and then we will keep the separator in there, keep all the fish in here, but I'm gonna take all the substrate out. Love this. No, it's very stressful. For not only myself, but the fish. We're gonna make it all happen, though. Let's get this out of here. Into the bucket of rock. That thing is so cool. So all this rock needs to get into a bucket. There's no way we could have filmed that, but we got all the tanks. As you can see, we're both sweating, very much so. Both tanks, both stands. Fish are in buckets inside, and um, yeah, we're pretty much done here. We have another tank in the guest room with, you know, as you know, like the Tetras and stuff like that. I'm gonna go back and get that a different day. It's already currently like 10 o'clock at night. We've been working from pretty much sun up to sundown this past month and a half with this house. So it's been nonstop. This room looks so weird empty fan art we got so much more to bring um but i'm gonna obviously leave stuff here too this is just gonna be an office now instead yeah that's that got it all out of the house listen taylor's finally here hi taylor where have you been all day in the attic where you keep me Whoa. locked up <laughs> false that's fake he's lying she was at work okay listen you were at work. tell me at work so i don't look like a bad guy i don't know what you're talking about Jeez. All right, never mind. We're getting all the fish tanks out of the U-Haul right now. I'm gonna push this one in. It's like you're entering another portal the way that this looks right now. Bye. We have the saltwater tank, our beta tank down there from the kitchen of the other house, the tank that we haven't shown you much of just yet, our axolotl tank, which is so clear, this tank that just got into the fish room. We gotta fill it up so these fish, you know, have a nice clean water again. Right now, they're just kind of chilling in all the sand getting kicked back and forth. It's not dirty water, it's just cloudy from the sand. Then this is where the other tank is going, but we have to paint this black. We're painting that tonight. Chris actually painted the cabinets in my kitchen. Three. Four times. Right until I'm hitting the water. There you go. <laughs> so we got dechlorinator and stress coat going in at the same time. As a matter of fact, the stress coat actually dechlorinates the water, takes all the heavy metals out and everything. See, it removes chlorine, chlorine and chloramine. Detoxifies heavy metals. So this actually does the same thing. We really didn't need to do both, but 
It's all right. Wait till you see this tank in the morning when it's crystal clear. What's it gonna be? Crystal clear. Say it one more time. Crystal clear. <laughs> All right, update here. It is currently, let's check the time. Let's check the time, 11.30. It's an hour since we last checked time. We have the bucket of paint right here. It's black paint and we're painting our wooden, similar to the cabinets. It's literally the exact same color. This is the old flower horn tank. It's the exact same color as my old cabinets in the kitchen. The kitchen's cabinets now look like this. Looks amazing by the way. The house renovation vlogs are all live on my vlog channel. If you haven't watched, I have one episode and another episode. I have two episodes of renovating the house. So you'll see the house from the very beginning, this house, not the fish room, the actual like legit house, like the full renovation of that. It is on my vlog channel, so if you guys wanna check that out, you go down the links below, the vlog channel's in every description. When you have some extra time, just go watch it. it you won't regret it, I promise, it's super cool. To see like the before and afters of stuff. Anyway, cichlid tank is fully set up. We actually put a black background on it this time. So you see the black background on our mantis uh, shrimp tank. <gasps> I just said it. Yes, we're getting mantis shrimp. The black background on our beta tank, which I have not showed you much of yet. The black background on an axolotl goldfish tank. And now the black background on this tank. We're also doing the black background on flower horn tank. Now you may be asking yourself, since the cichlids are in here, we have not put the rocks back in yet. The water's a bit foggy. But I'll be honest, in just the last like 20 minutes, that's cleared up a lot. Has it not? Oh yeah. It's literally cleared up a lot. So in like an hour, that's going to be clear. We're going to get those rocks and I'll, you know, escape the whole thing again. For now, the fishies are just kind of swimming and waiting for their house to come back in. Over here, we have literally our little makeshift temporary home for the flower horns just for over the night. So we have it split in half. They kind of blend in when they are sitting in a black background they'll start to get dark. If they're in a white background, they'll go light. Similar to a lot of other fish, especially tilapia do that too. So he's kind of backed up in the corner there right now, but I got an aerator on this side and a filter on this side, just keeping the water moving, you know what I mean? Both flower horns are in there until the morning when this is fully dried, where we get back it up to the wall, which then to fill it back up. But for tonight, the plans are right now, this is what the fish room is looking like. You know, we got tanks in it now, a lot's going on. We need to paint. And uh, we found a roller, dude. We were about to drive all the way over to Haynar's house. We ended up finding this. I think Hector left it today, so thank you, Hector. You're always coming. You're always. You're always coming. You're always coming in clutch. The tank will kind of just appear right here in about three seconds. Three, two, one. Woohoo! There it is, just like that. We're already painting. How you doing? So everything that you see right here will be a completely different color. We're gonna have to do more than one coat, huh? For sure. Because you can see just through the first coat right here, you can still see that wood color. So we just completely coat it right now. It's gonna look so good. Oh yeah. It's definitely too cold. Let me tell you something. That's gas. Thank God we found that roller. That would've took us forever without it. We need to paint this, so roll the time lapse. Woo! Neighbors are all definitely like, who's this new kid on the block? One o'clock in the morning. Wah -bah, wah -bah. <laughs> My neighbors are probably like, what's that room in the back with all those lights above? <laughs> they growing something that we don't know about, huh? <laughs> FBI shows up, yeah, come on in. Come Opens on up, it's literally a bunch of fish. <laughs> all right, turn around, boys. Not what we thought. Let PC get the brush, they said. You won't regret it, they said. That was a solid first coat. Well, kind of, almost first coat. It is 1.09 in the morning right now, and um, we're putting the second coat on. And this right here will make this completely black once it's dry. As you can see, the cichlid tank is now clear, cleared up at least. Look how beautiful those fish are. Cleared up like a lot more than it was. Nothing's more beautiful than that electric blue right there. Look at that. Cute. I put this tank since it's like the nicest looking tank right when you kind of walk in the door. So this tank is going to be like there, but right when you walk in, you'll see that tank. And I have a super cool thing that's going to be all above this. My grandparents, Mama and Papa, but I know you're watching. They got me this like years and years and years ago. It was at my parents' house for the longest time. And I decided I wanted to bring it 
uh, to the fish room. I know you're watching. We got this going in. I don't know where I'm gonna put it exactly. I'm thinking maybe this wall, but it does have that there. And I don't wanna put it under because it'll be too low to the water. So I was thinking maybe like right above that. We're gonna be putting a bunch of stuff up on top of here, probably like folded like, you know, PC merch. So if anyone comes to the fish store, we give them some merch. I literally called it a fish store. Fish room, fish room. It could be a fish store. Look at all the end products up there. Y'all know I literally don't promote products that I don't truly believe in. This is not sponsored, this video in particular, but API is a big sponsor of the channel, and I decided to just line up their products because of how good they've treated me, the products and the people. Just, you know, give them a little bit of free promotion. Looking good though, let me tell you, it looks, it looks really, really good. Definitely looks better black, that's for sure. It is a f about 15 hours later. Uh, I just woke up. We've got to clean the flower horn tank, spray paint the back of that all black. What I've done so far this morning is touched up the rest of the paint spots that we missed last night. I escaped the cichlid tank. And I also fed the betta fish just a little bit. I'll give you a little teaser on how just how beautiful those fish are. If you didn't watch last video, I'm gonna roll a couple quick clips on how crazy it was. We unboxed over 500 betta fish straight from Thailand, premium betta fish. You would not believe it. This is gonna look definitely the craziest so far. Yeah, this, this, this is a premium tub right here. Oh my this is certainly a premium tub. Dude, that just doesn't get any better. Now, if you saw that video, I'm sure you enjoyed every minute of it. It was a crazy episode, and we actually ended up bringing home a lot of them, and they're in there. They have their own tank. Now, this looks absolutely amazing. Before we put this all together and really finish off the room, like once this tank goes in and escaped and the flower horns come out and go into it, we're gonna be like, pretty much done for, for right now till we start buying more tanks and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. But I do wanna show you when I put all these betta fish into the tank. This tank is about 70 gallons and it is sick. All these betta fish, look how pretty. Look at how beautiful those are. They're all bred together so that they're able to be together. Otherwise, you can never put this many betta fish together. The person who breeds these has had them inside, not the guy who dropped them off to us, but prior has had them inside tubs like this. So they've never even been in a tank before. They used to just being in a tub. So dope, bro. Look at them all. Look at them all, a betta fish tank. Look at how pretty that one is. Right there with the orange on his tail. Whoop. That's cool, it's like a, it's like a ghost. And then they go. This stand holds up to 2,000 pounds. So we have, you know, a lot of weight on this stand, but it holds up to 2,000, which is like three times more than this. Ready, Chris? Lights going off. Oh my gosh, dude. Come on. That is the coolest bit of fish tank on YouTube. Ain't nobody doing it like us, baby. Look at this. Look at that one. Wow. Look at all the colors. Like, that is beautiful, bro. There's nothing like that. They're so huge too. I'm just, I'm just so stoked that this is my aquarium. Like, holy moly, this is our aquarium, cafe. I was like, come on now. A lot of people are probably geeking in the comments right now. A oh, one betta fish needs 7,000 gallons. I'm sorry, but no, it really doesn't. Um, these things have lived in a tub their whole life, so this is actually a, a, a big aquarium for them. And they're bigger than the ones I've Look at that. way bigger. Dude, the craziest thing is I will never ever I'm sure you can't see me too well. Oh! I will never look at a Petco betta fish ever again. I'll never even look at it the same. I'm literally gonna look at it and be like, I mean, you tell me, watch this, ready? Look at those, right? Look at those, and then look at these. I mean, that's a beautiful fish too, you know what I mean? It's not like they're not beautiful, but come on now. You know what I'm saying? Look at the colors. Oh my goodness, is there different color lights? That's all white. That's got some blue. Is there just blue? It's gotta be just blue. Oh yeah, you just put blue on it. Oh, that's dark. Oh yeah, look at that. That's cool too, but I like the... Got, all the way up. Yep. got it. I like oh. that. It's got a little bit of blue with a little bit of white. I mean, I tell you what, Conferos. That's a lot of beta fish. That's a lot of beta fish. But look it's a that big one. The whole, the best part is, is like, look at us right now. 
We're like, look at that, so look at this, colors. look at that. There's so many colors, so many different fish. Why look at one? I mean, like, oh my gosh, that fish is insane. They're so big already, look at it. Size of my finger. Look at those. That is insane, dude. And no one's fighting. Nope, and you don't see any aggression at all. I mean, wow. Holy moly, we should literally count them all. Take a screenshot and see how many you can count and then comment down below. I don't even know how many there are. I'll look at the comments. Some of these fish have some crazy, crazy patterns on them. Look at that. Sheesh. They're looking for food already. Yep. Blue's better. So that is the most epic beta fish tank on YouTube. The chances of even finding a bunch of beta fish that were grown up together is so slim. So this is like something you just don't see. And that's why I had to get a tank full of them. For myself and the channel and the fish room, I mean, we had to, you know what I mean? It just needed to be placed right there. I tell you what though, lights off in here looks so much better than lights on. Woo! This is, gonna look sick. This is cool too, look at the salt water. I fixed the rock. Nope, salt water tank that we're getting something really cool for once it's cycled up. Look at that one. The colors. Oh my goodness. Look at that I can't one. wait that to that's see. Like blue. I know. White. I can't wait to see you Gaffaros react to this. I mean, wow. Look at all those. <laughs> wow. Craziness. When I turn the lights off, there's no glare, so it's a lot better. So many different fish to look at. Like, what even is that, man? That ain't no beta fish. It is a beta fish, but you ain't gonna find anything like this about anywhere else, that's for sure. Just so pretty, every single beta is beautiful in its own way. So yeah, we got a strictly premium beta fish aquarium inside our fish room. I didn't expect to have that, I'll be honest, I really did not expect to have that. But now that we're like fully caught up, you saw everything up to this moment right here. Door keeps swinging up. What if this house is haunted? <gasps> We need to officially get this tank over there, set it up, and put the flower horns in. Thankfully, for editing, it's super easy to do something like that. So just in the flick of a finger, it's gonna be set up right there. And that is that. Just like that, different color shirt, a couple hours later, tank is in. This fish room just looks incredible. Well, it's coming together at least. It's definitely looking good. I'm gonna hang this right above there. I got the African cichlid tank here, which as you can see is rescaped the fish are happy and healthy, and the water is clear. Now right to the right, now right to the left of that is, hello reflection, how you doing? They probably should close the door, but it's all right. Flower horn one, flower horn two. You know, this flower horn's actually been sick. It's been sick in the past, now it's not something that can get to the other flower horn, clearly, because it's happened in the past. And we actually cured it with some sort of medicine Tommy gave me, I don't exactly remember it, but I gotta get some more of that, because it looks like he's having that deformity in his head again. Something's going on with that fish. Maybe it was from all the stress through the transfer, but it looked like he kind of had something going on prior. Now, we used to have two goldfish, one, one down. Now we just have one, so I just put him into this tank with the axolotls again. The same initial one that we started with. The second one, I got him a friend, and that one didn't make it. So we only lost one fish through the whole entire fish transfer video, and it was a goldfish. I mean, that's pretty good. Now our beta fish tank. I showed you guys this beautiful, beautiful fish. I mean, there's so many, and I'm gonna show you this a lot more in the future. But for now, it's just a tank full of premium betas. Look at them. They are just so pretty. Look at that red one. Wow, man, you cannot beat that. Got the beta tank here. Two of our other betas right there. We got one right there from, this is uh, from a past video. If you look inside, oh, let me get a focus. You see his fin moving in there? I got an arrow pointed to it. He's inside the sushi house, he literally lives in there. And then our saltwater tank right here. Now, my thinking is this. Since we know we're leaving this side open because we're gonna do a dope pond over here, why not match it? So literally get the exact same tank right there. So it'll be that tank and then another same exact one right there. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching. This fish room is coming together, I am so stoked. The cichlids look so happy. All in all, all the fish are good, and I couldn't be happier with the outcome. So far, so good, because there's a lot more to go down. Hit the subscribe button if you're new, smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!